Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little sunshine. It's just a bright sunny little smiley sun. So to get started, oh and this is a no sew project. So this is a real easy, simple, uh, pretty beginner friendly no sew project that works up real quickly. So for this we're going to need of course, some yellow yarn, and this is the big fluffy blanket yarn, a uh, size six bulky. You'll also want just a little bit of orange for the mouth and pink for the cheeks. We'll need some scissors, a yarn needle, just for um, sewing the mouth and cheeks on, and some 10 millimeter safety eyes, and a size J or six millimeter hook and hmm, and a handful of stuffing. And I think that is it. One more thing that would be really useful though is a stitch marker to help us keep track of our rows and our stitches because this um, project, I work in a spiral so instead of doing like a little chain one and a single crochet at the beginning of each row, like a slip stitch and a chain one, we are just going to keep working in a continuous spiral so that there's no like seam in our little son's face. So are you guys ready to get started? So to get started, we're going to make a little slip knot and get this yarn on our hook. Now we're going to chain two, one, and two. Now in the second chain from our hook, we're going to put seven single crochets. So here's one, and two, here's three. If you like, you can grab that little stitch marker to mark the first stitch that you made three, here's four, here's five, there's six, and seven. And if your chain opened up a whole bunch like mine did, don't worry. You can just tug on that end. Not too hard because you don't want to break your yarn. That's why we're using a chain two instead of a magic circle because this blanket yarn likes to break sometimes. So <laughs> just tug it gently to close up that little circle in the middle. And now we are ready for round two. So this is our first stitch. And remember, we're not gonna slip stitch chain one to start. Nope, nope, nope. We want it to look beautifully seamless. So we're just going to do our single crochets starting in that first one. So in our first stitch, we're going to put two single crochets and we're going to put two single crochets in each of these seven single crochets. So at the end of round two, we're going to have 14 single crochets. Ready? So starting right in that one. If you like, you can crochet over your end as well to cover it up and secure it. So here's a one and a two. And since we're working in that spiral, I like to just put a little stitch marker there. Now, if you wanted to, working in the next one, here's three and, oopsies, three and a four. If you wanted to, you really could slip stitch and chain one, but I just think it looks so much prettier when you have like a seamless little circle. So we've got four so far. Now into the third one, this makes five and six in the next one. And there's seven and eight in the next nine and 10 in the next one is 11 and 12. And then in our last one, there's 13 and 14. And now we're back to our very first stitch. So here I'm gonna pause for a moment because my battery's about to die. <laughs> Let's switch that up. 
All right, now we're ready to start round three with a fresh battery in my camera. <laughs> and we're going to be working into our first stitch once again. But for this one, for round three, we're going to be doing one single crochet and then two single crochets and then one single crochet and then two single crochets all the way around. So at the end, we should have 21 single crochets in our circle. So keeping an eye on where that first one is right there, I'm going to take my stitch marker out. So here we've got one single crochet and in the next one I'm going to put two single crochets. And then I'm going to mark that first one, okay? And then one, and then two, and then one, and in the next one we put two single crochets. And in the next one we've got one, and in the next one we've got two, and one in this one and one and two right here one in the next one here's a one and a two and then for our last ones here's a one and then this last stitch gets two little single crochets in it and now we're starting on round four so for round four we're going to do a single crochet and then a single crochet and then two single crochets and then a single crochet and a single crochet, two single crochets all the way around. And when we're finished with this round, we should have 28. So here's one in the first one, one in the next one, replacing my stitch marker. And in the next ones, we've got two. So three and four are going in this one. In the next one, we've got five. In the next one, we've got six. Then in the next one, seven and eight are going together. Seven and eight. In the next one goes nine. In the next one is 10. In the next one, 11 and 12 are together. Then we've got 13. Then we've got 14. And then 15 and 16 are together. Am I in the right one? Yep, there we go. <laughs> and then we've got 17. Then we've got 18. And then 19 and 20 are together. And then we've got 21. Oh, let me loosen up my yarn here. There we go. That was 21, right? 22. Oh, dear. Oh, 22. 23 and 24 are together. Then we've got 25, 26, and then our last two, 27 and 28 are together. Now we are finished with our circle, but you can see we've got a little bit of an abrupt stop right there where that last single crochet is. So just to smooth that out just a tiny little bit, we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. Slip stitch. And that will just bring like that single crochet down a little bit smoother but if you feel like there's still like an abrupt stop right there don't worry because once we put the border on he won't even see it so i'm just gonna chop oh okay so before i chop that <laughs> you're going to repeat this whole thing okay but for the first one we can cut our yarn and be all done with that okay but for the second one, you wanna keep your yarn attached. All right, so if you've got a second one, there we go. So one of them should have yarn still attached. So I don't know why I just cut that, guys. I just, I don't know, what's happening today? <laughs> we get to add a cute little face to our circle. You guys ready? Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so you need your pink and your orange and you want your little eyes and you might want a yarn needle i think it's kind of helpful for putting the cheeks on and all of that so i place the eyes at about uh, let's see between rows two and three so here's one two and three so i put them kind of 
between two and three and they've got um, about two stitches in between I would say you can do two to three stitches but you know the face you get to make it however you want it so you just make your cute little face however you want I'm gonna put my eyes about there and then we get to add our little cheeks so thread your little needle if you want to and then just put the cheeks I like to put them kind of right under the eyes like a tiny bit to the outside I suppose like to the outer side of the eyes about one stitch wide there's my little cheek that one's a little bit crooked that's all right and then Gonna use the same piece of yarn to bring it over to the other side to put a little cheek over there. Just about like that. Okay, and then once you've got your cheeks where you like them, you just want to flip it over and tie that yarn so it doesn't go anywhere. And then you can cut it. Yes, this time we can cut our yarn. <laughs> and now. For the orange let's see your mouth is going to be about one stitch wide and you can put it I like to put it right in between the cheeks or you can put it in between the eyes or wherever you like and just about one stitch wide or maybe two stitch wide two stitches wide if you want it a little wider but again make it your own you can make it a little smiley face or whatever you want you could even do a different color like a red or black or whatever you want there we go once you like it just tie that off too. And now we are ready to move on to attaching our little circles together. Are you guys ready? Okay, so now you're gonna have your one with a little face on it and your other one that does not have a face. You wanna turn this one face down so that when your sun is all together, you'll see like the pretty, the pretty side, you know what I mean? So to start, we're going to chain one and working through both little circles, we're going to do a single crochet. So just insert your hook through both layers and then draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through two to make a little single crochet. We're going to be doing three single crochets and then a single crochet increase all the way around this border. And we're going to single crochet in the next two as well. Now I've got a little knot there, but it's okay because I cut my yarn on accident. So we've done one, two, three, and in the next one, we're going to do two single crochets, okay? So one and a two. And then in the next one, we'll do one single crochet. In the next one, one single crochet. And in the next one, one single crochet. Then in the next one, we'll do two single crochets, one and a two. All right, now we've got 10 so far, because we've done that twice. So this one is 11. Here's 12 and 13. Now 14 and 15 go together, 14 and 15. Then we've got 16. We got 17. We got 18. And then 19 and 20 go together. Now we've got 21, 22. There's 23. And then 24 and 25 go together. And now before we get too much farther, we want to put some stuffing in our little guy. Yeah, I think we should do that about now. Let's see here. So I'm just going to push my ends down in there and let's grab oh, a handful of our stuffing. 
I'm just gonna grab about that much. I usually find that however much stuffing I think I need, I ended up you I end up needing about twice that much, but oh no, actually that was a pretty good amount. Okay, so one little handful. Alright, so I think we were on 25, right? So now we've got there's 26. And there's 27. Here's 28, and then 29 and 30 go together. Uh, hmm, where's that one? 29 and 30. And then last ones, we've got 31, 32, 33, and then 34 and 35 go together. And now, this time we are going to slip stitch into that very beginning stitch to close up our circle. All right, and we should have had 35 all the way around. And now we are going to put the cute little spikes on our little sun here. So we are going to skip the next stitch, which is right here. Okay, so we're gonna skip this guy and go right into this one. Let's see if I'm seeing that right. Skip this one, go into this one. Okay, so in that one, we're going to put two double crochets, a triple crochet, and then two double crochets. Okay, ready? So double, double, now triple, yarn over, yarn over, insert your hook, drop the loop, yarn over, draw through one, two and three for our triple and then two more doubles so all of those are going in that very same space and now we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to slip stitch into the next two all right so we've got one spike made now we're going to repeat that ready so we're going to skip our next one, and in the next one we're going to put double crochet, double crochet, triple, double crochet, double crochet. Ready? So we've got double crochet, double crochet, triple, double, and double. Now, once again, we'll skip the next one, slip stitch, slip stitch. So skip and then slip stitch and slip stitch. Now we're gonna skip the next one, do the same thing. So skip this guy and we're going right here. So double, double, Triple, double, double. Now we're going to skip, slip stitch, slip stitch. Ugh, it's kind of a tongue twister. <laughs> All right, so I think you guys get the idea. So we're going to continue on skipping and then doing that same little spike in the next stitch. So we've got double, double, triple, double, double, skip, slip stitch, slip stitch. And you are just going to repeat this same little sequence until you have seven spikes around your little sunshine. One, 
two, three, four, five, six. I need one more. So skip and then right here we've got double, double, triple, double, double, and then we skip and slip stitch, and then slip stitch back to our very first one. That is where our original slip stitch was. All right, and that is, oh, yo, look how cute he is. Okay, now we can cut our yarn and finish off. So you can either grab your little yarn needle to weave it in. You can also just leave this yarn long and loop it if you want to hang him on something, but I'm going to finish him off because he's just a cute little stuffy just to play with and hang out in my house. I think he's just going to hang out in my living room on a shelf because he's just so cute. <laughs> so you just want to weave your yarn down in there and then you can cut it off. Just like so. And that is all there is to it, you guys. Oh, I hope you enjoyed this fun, cute little no sew video. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And you guys have fun this summer crocheting cute little sunshine. <laughs> Bye.